Does this position look familiar? If it does, it's no surprise you've got neck pain while you're gaming. A lot of times, you're playing in front of the computer, the Xbox, PlayStation, whatever it may be, and you're almost climbing into the screen, and you can sit like that for hours, and it's not a good position. What you're doing is you're basically driving extra pressure through these joints in the neck, and you're not moving. So these little purple ones at the very top up there, those guys are getting rubbed together while you're sat in that position and you're not allowing them to move and get rid of some of that inflammation that gets caused. And when you're gaming, your, focus, your attention is so much on what you're doing on the actual screen that you tend to lose track of everything else and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, my neck really, really hurts. And what you should do instead, sit up straight. There's a few, few very, very simple errors that people make. Number one, they don't sit up straight. Get a good chair. If you're gonna be playing games, if you enjoy it, etc., then fine, do it. But get a good chair that you sat in. Big, big mistake, lying on the bed. TV's at the foot of the bed, and you're left there like that with the controller for hours and hours on end, putting ex excessive compression through the discs in your neck on the front of these joints at the front here, and, and that just creates inflammation, it creates damage, it creates laxity in the ligaments. The ligaments can no longer do their, do their appropriate supportive role for the natural curve in your neck. You next have that smooth curve, not too much and not too little, as if you're bending to look at the TV at the foot of the bed. Reposition your station. If you are playing a lot and you know you play a lot, then set it up, like I mentioned earlier, with a chair, the screen, at eye height, so you can actually play properly. Some of the games, you can actually uh, have a uh, respawn, for example, if you're playing a shooting type game, or if you're playing a game, uh, football game or sports game, then there'll be intermissions between matches, etc. Get up, move around. Don't just sit there the whole time. Those sorts of things can make a big difference when you're getting neck pain when you're playing games. It's just care of self and you tend to lose track of yourself when you're playing these sorts of games, especially when you can play them for hours on end. So the, the most simplistic things, just don't play them for quite as long. But if you are going to play them for long, set your computer up effectively so that you're sat in a good position. You can get all sorts of chairs that are really comfy that you can sit in in a good posture. But think about your posture when you're playing these games because it makes a massive difference and you're creating other issues that will, will come to light further down the line. Um, with regards to pain between the shoulder blades, those sorts of things can be a consequence of that neck pain if it's left for a long period of time because you start to irritate some of the nerves in the neck here which go down to between those shoulder blades and you can also develop a weakness because the muscles are just not being used on a daily basis. So if you're gonna play gaming, you wanna feel good while you're doing it, if you're doing it from a competitive point of view, which people do nowadays, with games like Fortnite, etc., then you need to be looking after yourself while you're playing because essentially you need to perform. And if you've got neck pain while you're playing games, then that's just not gonna help you perform effectively. So take care of yourself, move around a bit while you can, sit with good posture, and avoid playing on the bed leaning back in that terrible posture because it just doesn't help your neck whatsoever. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. For more videos like this and recent uploads, click the link up here. If you want to learn more about our Back in Shape program and how it can help you from home, then click the link here. And remember to stay up to date with all the latest videos we post, subscribe by clicking the button above my head. Thanks for watching.